Welcome to my current crafting obsession. I have no idea what to call these. They're embroidery hoops, but they're not really embroidery at all. So since most of them are bears, would it be fair to call it embroidery? Yeah, I hate it too, it's fine. I don't know what we're gonna call these, but I am obsessed with making them. And I was looking at the pile of blank ones that I have left and thinking, how long would it take me to make all of those in a day? Could I make all of those in a day? How many are sitting there? That's more than one question. And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know. And 18. So I guess we'll answer the other two questions today. Let's go. I love this tie-dye fabric so much. And I think that's a good place to start. I also really think these teeny tiny eyes would be funny. So we're just gonna. <laughs> I swapped out the yellow pom-poms for this lighter color because I felt like it went with the fabric better. Just gonna do some bright pink cheeks for contrast. I love adding tiny little eyebrows to things. I don't know why, but like the smallest pom-pom makes a difference. It's weird. Also just using the hem of the jacket to make the ears because I'm lazy. And there's tiny face bear. Using some leftovers of the tie-dye fabric because I have so much leftover. More teeny tiny eyeballs. I have no idea what this is gonna be. Kind of started sewing things to it and waited to see what would happen. Gonna throw some embroidery floss in there. I guess it's a bug. I don't know. Sometimes I make things that aren't actual things and it just is something now, but it wasn't before. Does that make sense? No? Okay. I think for this one, I wanna go for a super classic teddy bear. I don't know if it's gonna stay that way, but let's try it. Eh, I mean, it looks normal enough. Gonna do some pom-pom ball ears for funsies. Oh, now he has a mohawk? Okay, sure. Some green Antron fleece. All I know is I wanna put some of these flocked hearts on it because it's very, I don't know, something. Oh. Sweet Jesus. That's a choice. What is this? <laughs> Next one. I think probably one of my favorite things that I've ever made are the little stuffed bees. So I went to make an embroidered bee. <laughs> I'll see myself out. He needs a nose and some eyebrows, obviously. Some little antenna things. Oh, it's a bee. Oh, what a surprise. More tie-dye fabric. This time I wanted to go a little bit out of the box. A French poodle. I've never made a poodle anything before, but I thought I could do it. So that was my plan. That was the entire line of thinking. I haven't done it. Let's make one. I like the face a lot. I feel like the face could have been a bear also, but I'm, it's a poodle, so it's not. Whatever. I'm just gonna take some felt and stick some pom-pom balls to it and turn that into some ears. Is this a passable poodle? Yeah, I'll count that. Next. Some red antron fleece. Just gonna make a bear, I think. Groundbreaking. I really like using antron fleece for these because it makes it so much easier to see all of the face details. Yeah, that's, that's a bear. Gonna make a small poodle because I made a big poodle. So naturally need a small one. Also, I just wanted to make a blue one because I made a pink one and I wanted to see what it would look like in another color. Solid logic. I think that works. Some more Antron fleece because I love it. I kind of want to do a swampy sort of thing. Which of course means we gotta bust out the heart appliques because how is this one of my videos if I don't use them? I'm just gonna use some of these smaller pom-poms for warts because I don't know. It's a swamp, swampy thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. We made a small bee, so you know what that means. Big bee. And some little face cheek things. I know all of the bees kind of look the same, but I never get tired of making them and I never get tired of seeing them. So I'll probably keep making them anyway. Mm -hmm.
This one, I wasn't really sure how it was going to work. I just, in my head, I said, fun Fetty Bear, and I tried it. So all of his little cheeks and nose pieces and stuff are different colored pom-poms. Then I just kind of wadded up some of the fabric for some ears. Yeah. Which means... Uh, no, 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 wait, don't tell me. I large fun Fetty Bear. It's like as soon as I make a small one, I want to know what it would look like if it was big. I changed it up quite a bit so it's not the exact same, but the concept is still similar. I'm having a lot of fun figuring out color combos that work with these new bright colored pom-poms. I really like how this bright pink and orange look together. Just gonna do some pom-pom ears and boom. Big bear. So this one, kind of similar to the poodle idea, except Dalmatian. Just gonna give him some goofy little eyebrows. And then gonna take some felt again and use that for the ears. And then just sew some bigger pom-poms on for variation. And yeah. This might look a little bit familiar, but we're going with the dark blue and the star brads again. However, I do want to add one of these little resin moons mostly because I bought them like two years ago and I haven't used them yet. Pom-poms as big as his face? Yes, absolutely. This might be one of my favorite ideas I've ever had, which is probably why I'm doing it again. But he just looks so cool. Okay, now we have to glue the moon on. I like it. Yellow. This idea came to me pretty much as soon as I finished the little star bear. He's kind of got the whole nighttime theme going on, so what if he had a friend who was the opposite? Sun bears already exist and they look nothing like this, but for the purposes of the theme, pretend. So he's just a big yellow happy bear with big poofy cheeks. And I feel like he could probably use some little sun rays? You know, the cartoon suns all have the little triangle thingies and I thought, yep, he needs those. I started cutting out a bright yellow and kind of an orangey yellow. And then I realized that the orangey yellow really didn't look very good on him, so I got rid of those. And there's our little sun bear. More yellow. Not really sure what I want to make. All I know is that I just made something really happy looking and it felt weird, so I just need to counterbalance. If I give him some mossy green eyebrows, he'll kind of look like a moldy lemon. Yep, doing it. Now, for his nose, I'm not sure if this will work, but I've been wanting to try it. I want to take one of these plastic safety noses and poke it through the pom-pom ball so the entire thing is his nose, if that makes sense. Damn it. I can't believe this works, so I'm going to sew it on really fast before something goes wrong. I'm definitely going to try that again in the future. I think it looks really good. He's grouchy, he's lemony, but what else is he? Oh, a grouchy lemon puppo. That's unexpected. It was as much a surprise to me as it was to you, what this ended up being. But I really like him. He's fun. Tie-dye fabric. I think for this one, I want to make a tiger because I have recently discovered that my beloved applique hearts actually kind of work for stripes. So that's a thing. Once again, I feel like this can only be improved by adding some really tiny pom-pom eyebrows. He's a grouchy little tiger, jeez. I kind of love him. We finally made it to the last one and I have no idea what to make. All I know is that I want to use this fuzzy fabric and I want to put these teeny tiny eyeballs really close together in the center of the fabric because I think that's really funny. I don't know why, but there's something hilarious to me about having a big surface area and just putting the face really small in the center. And then of course he has to have pom-pom cheeks because who are we kidding? While I was trying to decide what to do, I looked to my left and I saw all of the little orange triangles that I cut out for the sun bear and didn't use and I thought, you want to get the Are you hungry? I want to get the 
no. I thought about making a paper cone for some cotton candy. However, I did not think that through all the way because cotton candy cones are not waffle cones. So not a horrible idea, but kind of needs to be restructured a bit by adding chocolate sauce. Because now he's an ice cream. It probably would have been fine without sprinkles, but I think when you have all of these teeny tiny multicolor pom-poms, it feels like an affront to not use them. An affront on what? I don't know. My mind? And also a giant one for a cherry because that's just what an ice cream looked like when I googled it, so. It all came together in the end, and this is what he looks like. And to be honest, I didn't think I was gonna like him because he's the last one. He's kind of one of my favorites that I've made today. Don't tell him. So 18 embroidery thingies. Still not sure what we're officially gonna call these. I'm sure you could tell by my changing plastic nails that I did not in fact finish these all in one day. However, I did keep tabs on how much time I spent on these and technically I did because it only took me 16 hours, which sounds like a lot of time, because it is. It forced me to come up with a lot of ideas at once, which is not something that I usually do. I kind of just sit here for a couple of hours, not 16, and come up with one or two ideas and roll with that. But I thought this would be an interesting challenge and I just wanted to see how long it would really take me especially if I was trying to keep it under 24 hours. I just wanted to see what would happen, I guess. And what happened is we created all of these little guys. And I don't actually think there's one that I don't like. I don't know if I would do this again. At least not this many. Because even though it only took 16 hours total, I was thinking about this nonstop for a week. So maybe fewer of these next time would be good. Before I forget, everything is live on my Etsy right now. Yep, right there. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is coming out soon. But until then, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I will see you next time.